It was pretty early on that we learned of the issues with SMT, but what exactly is it and why is it causing these issues? We've also got a new kind of update on it, so stay tuned. <laughs> Many of you have probably heard of hyperthreading. What most don't know is that the term is actually Intel's proprietary SMT. SMT essentially being the generic name for it and stands for simultaneous multithreading. It essentially allows each core to work on two threads simultaneously, effectively making your, let's say, 8 core 1800X work with 16 logical cores. It does this by having a main thread or principal core on each physical core as well as an SMT thread. The principal core is given the majority of the workload while leaving leftovers for the SMT thread. This allows for more throughput to get the job done. Essentially, what all this means is that while no, it doesn't give you a full boost in performance as if you literally had 16 physical cores working on a project, but it does add a nice increase of reportedly 20 to 30% versus what you could achieve without it. But what does this have to do with the issues we're seeing in Ryzen? It actually all boils down to a reported bug, or at least lack of Ryzen SMT support in the Windows 10 scheduler. I'm not really sure who first discovered the bug, but many people are reporting it and discussions are basically as follows. The Windows 10 scheduler views Ryzen's 16 threads as having 16 actual cores, each with their own cache as well. Instead of differentiating the principal thread in the SMT one and prioritizing most of the work for the primary core. This isn't good because a ton of the work is getting pushed to the virtual core and ultimately slowing performance. Oddly enough, Windows 7 doesn't seem to have this issue. What does this mean for you though? Well, if you're primarily using your new Ryzen CPU for gaming or lightly threaded programs, you'll almost certainly benefit from turning SMT off in the BIOS. If you do use a lot of heavily threaded tasks, definitely leave it on. It'll still benefit from having more threads. There is some good news though. Microsoft had this to say on Twitter in regards to the issue. A new high-end processor means new bugs to neutralize. We'll look into this and provide information in future updates. As some users on Reddit pointed out, it is essentially a non-answer, but it at least tells us Microsoft is aware and looking at the issue. Here's to hoping we hear back soon. The thing that I honestly don't understand is why AMD didn't realize this prior to releasing their new architecture, but then again, I think it kind of boils down to the end of that sentence right there. New architecture. It is really something new. Though I will say some people are saying AMD at one time claimed that there were issues with the Windows scheduler in their last bulldozer architecture, so I mean, I don't know. I definitely want to hear back from Microsoft and hear what they have to say as well as how they're going to be fixing it. So that concludes this video. I really hope everyone liked it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. I know it was pretty short, but hopefully informative to you. I'll also have Amazon affiliate links in the description if anyone wants to pick up AMD's newest chips. So check that out if you're interested. And as always, have a great day.